Hello everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin' here on Paint Pixie, and we're going to play today. I've been playing all day long um, with their new kit, and so I've been dreaming up ways to for y'all to create with it. Uh, it's so um, fun to work with and it's so what am I what's the word you know I forget words when I go live there are so many ways you can create with this one I think hey Tammy you're the first one here um, I'm gonna wait for our friends to come on in and uh, I've got paint pixie up here and I've got tater bugging down here so I'm hoping to catch comments from both places um, I'm excited about this, and I will tell you right now that uh, they must be working on our internet in this in our neighborhood because it has been really spotty today. So fingers crossed for this hour, it behaves itself. Hey, Leanne, there's Cindy and Gwen, and there's Lindy Farmer. Good to see you again. Hey, Janice, Debbie Moeller's here. And Carol, Betty, hello. Um, I have frozen down here, so but I can still see your comments. Let me let me get back here, just so I can see what you're seeing. Hey, Trish, thank you. It's fairy season. I've worn it before, but you may not have seen it. Um, Barb, you just worry about yourself, friend. Um, you got to get well, okay? Hey, Rita. Hey, Penny. Brenda. Marjorie. Pat. Oh, everybody's getting here. Hey, Catherine. How are you? Thank you for splashing out the paint. Good afternoon, Nancy. I'm going to try to keep up with comments both places, but uh, I want to get started because I was just all day long dreaming up ways to do Lisa Ahmad's new kit that she designed for Paint Pixie. Hey, Trudy. Um... Now, in this kit, it's Sucka for Love. Isn't that cute? That's so Lisa. Okay, in this kit, you're going to get your instructions from Lisa. Um, you are going She her page is Craft Therapy with Lisa and Maude. If you don't follow her, you need to. Um, and this kit is $12, and I'm going to show you everything you get. They're all over the table because I've been playing all afternoon with everything. You're going to get three of these little banner pieces. We're going to use these, but we're also going to use other things because you'll still have this awesome mold. This is a succulent mold from Paint Pixie. It's in the kit. You're going to get a, a sample size of Pixie dough. I have made one, two, three, three, four sets of this and I still have this much pixie dough left. That's why I wanted to tell you um, you you can do all three of these little banners and still have more pixie dough or order you some more pixie dough like I do for your mold and um, I'm going to show you some other ways I dreamed up to use it. Hey Dolly and Patricia, Ruth, hello. Uh, so okay you've got your your um, banner pieces. You've got your instructions. You will get a free printable download that Lisa has designed. Uh, so cute. You'll be able to print those out. You can use those as a background on this. You're also going to get some jute for, you know, if you want to make this into a cute banner. So, okay. Is that everything? I think it is. That's plenty. Okay. <clears throat> So let's start with our mold. I know you've probably seen us all cast uh, pixie dough molds, but I'm gonna do it again. Hello, Germaine. Yes, uh, Barb does need our prayer. She is in the hospital. Her daddy made it through all of his surgery yesterday. Praise the Lord. And then Barbara, I told Barbara this morning when she messaged me, I said, you know what? I'm officially going to wrap you up in bubble wrap and put you on a closet shelf for a while, girl, because mm, 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 mm. this has got to stop. I'm just using cornstarch. 
You cannot overdo it with the cornstarch because it will not stick to the pixie dough. Uh, it will fall right off once you release the mold. So this one, <clears throat> the these three are rather uh, intricate. So I really want to make sure I get the these covered, all the little nooks and crannies. Uh, with the cornstarch. I gotta get some, and I saw Lisa saying this morning she's about out of cornstarch. I gotta get some more cornstarch too. In fact, Mr. T's at the store right now, which reminds me, let me tell y'all, he is gonna switch out on us again. He is going to, to cook tomorrow night instead of Thursday night because it's the last weekend of hunting season and he's decided he wants to go up early. So write that down. <laughs> Write that down. Well, Cindy, there was another fall involved. She was headed to the hospital, to the ER anyway. Then she fell, and the ambulance had to come. Bless her heart. And she is still laying in the hallway on a stretcher there. Hey, Lori. Hey, Susie. Okay, so all I'm doing, I just pulled out a piece of pixie dough. And you can kind of lose yourself in kneading this. You just warm it up with your hands, but it feels so good. Have you, have you, how many of you have worked with pixie dough before? <clears throat> I would love to know. I love this stuff. I have, I think, three more bags of it over there because I, I use it all the time. And I've already gone through one bag playing with it, you know, making things. You're just going to pull out a piece. You're going to estimate how much you're going to need for your mold, whatever it is you're using. And put it right down in that center part and work your way out. Uh, it's so easy to work with. That's why I wanted to show you this one more time. I haven't worked with this succulent mold on a live yet. So I just wanted to show you how it looks and how easy it is. And I just kind of feel the uh, leaves and form it into the mold. And I, then I pre make sure it presses in the middle so you get all that good detail. I know, Dolly, tell her, tell her. Every time we turn around, she's having to go to the ER or she's got an infection and it's no good. All right, so we've got our first succulent in there. Hello, Karma. Thank you so much. This is this is one of my new fairy season shirts, and I just love it. I, you know, I don't think hearts are just for Valentine's Day, and this one is, you know, it's got all the drips on it and everything, so it's really artsy and, um, yeah. So I really like it. It spoke to me when the first time I saw it. Now that's gonna be a little bit much for this little bitty succulent. So let me do this little piece. Still too much, I know, but I'm gonna smoosh it down in there and then take out the excess. So if you get too much, Bo and his bone, it wouldn't be alive at Tater Buggin without Bo and his bone, would it? I apologize y'all for his noisiness. Hello, June. Good afternoon. How are you? Let me see. Hey, Jill. Thank you so much. You need one of these, Jill. It's all drippy with paint, and it's got the heart front and back, and it's so comfy. It's really lightweight, but uh, plenty warm to me. All right. You just press it, and then I just, you know, kind of pull it over the edge with my finger and pull off that excess. Hello, Lois. How are you? Me and Lois getting to be good, good friends. I just think you're so wonderful. Hey, Beth. Uh-oh, Penny's freezing. Who did I miss? I did, Gwen, until my internet went out. I was watching Lisa. This is so rude. I was watching Lisa yesterday morning. Internet went out. About halfway through, I had to send her a message and tell her, I'm very sorry I disappeared. It wasn't because I wanted to. It was because Xfinity decided that they were going to work. Well, then today, oh, I was just enjoying it so much, watching her, um, that 
so creative the way she used her pixie dough and I need that stamp. I have got to get that stamp she used. But I got to the part where um, she had done the whole pixie dough, the stamp, and cut out the heart and made it all. I loved her idea for making it look torn around the edges. And then she painted it with a dark wash. Then my internet went out. Mm. was not happy. Hey, Joyce. Oh, there's my friend Joyce. Joyce is the one I've told y'all about who um, gave me her precious mother, some of her precious mother's costume jewelry, and I've been creating with it some. Her mother was also a very dear friend of mine. So, I'm glad Joyce is here. Uh, she lives five minutes from me, and I barely ever get to see her anymore, but Every now and then we get to have lunch. Joyce, did you hear that the um, that Cedar Hall Tea Room is not, it's gonna be only a wedding venue and they're not gonna be a tea room anymore? Joyce and I used to love to go there for lunch. It's a historic um, home. Where am I? Right over there. <laughs> Two minutes from my house, I could walk to it. And, uh, yeah, I just saw that the other day. That's the time you popped in to see her. So, you took up the slack for me, Diane. Thank you. Yeah. I t Mr. T and I have been trying to send out more invoices. He's been trying to finish up shipping for what, you know, if it, for the payments that came in today. And Internet, in and out all day long. And he'd holler from the shipping department, Internet's out again. I'd look up, sure enough. Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate this. I thought y'all might like this shirt. Um, I sure did. It's from Fairy Season, and I went through their catalog, and when this one popped up, I thought, oh, yeah, I got to have that. So, there's four. There's all four. Now, what you're going to do at this point with the, the uh, these two are very intricate. So, I just took it to my freezer, put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes and really that was enough if you've got enough cornstarch in there um, that's gonna be fine 20 minutes in the freezer they will pop right out and they're gonna look like this and this look at this cutie that little beady beady one and then there's one leaf right here it's even got that little succulent, you know, how the leaves kind of curl up like that. So we've got, this is a whole set right here. And you see how the cornstarch will just fall off of it. You can take a soft brush and kind of brush it off if you want to, but it usually falls right off for me. Aren't they pretty? So um, now I had an idea for... A background I wanted to do something a little bit different than Lisa to give y'all options you've got her printouts that are awesome that'll come with the kit and then I thought well let's what 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 else can I come up with so let me just show you we're gonna take this is my Mod Podge I've got this it's a two-pack at Dollar Tree I saw Jen from home sweet create do this and I thought why didn't I think of that? This is so easy to just put your Mod Podge down like that and grab an old brush. Want to this one? What do you love, Dolly? What did What do you love? I I don't know how this is gonna look. In my mind, I think it'll look cool, but it's just you know just me trying to give y'all some different ideas of all the ways you could play with this cool kit. And I mean, for $12, you get a lot of nice little gifts or, um, yeah, I mean, they would be great gifts, little tuck-ins. Let me set that right there. Used tea bags. Y'all know I'm all over these used tea bags right now. And uh, kind of having a ball playing with them. So I'm just gonna lay that down. I want that 
messy edge at the top on purpose. Hey, Jerry, how are you today, my sweet friend? And let me just overlap this a little bit. We'll put a little bit more on this side. like that. I want the wrinkles and I want the torn edge here and then I'll show you why. So there's our, our little tea bag all um, crunchy on there. Hey Amanda! How are you doing? I'm so happy to see you. That's Amanda from Amanda Made and if y'all don't follow her. What is wrong with you? <laughs> she is awesome. <clears throat> we are good friends, and I just love me some Amanda. All right, I've got my coffee grunge. Y'all know Miss um, Trace Campbell from My Sweet Home Living, plus all those gorgeous, wonderful Chuffed Berry sisters of mine. Um, and Lisa Ahmad also uses this. I think we all have used coffee grunge at one point or another. I did uh, Lisa's ratio of uh, one cup of coffee crystals, half a cup of hot water, put the lid on, shook it up, and then I just added a little vanilla and a little cinnamon because it smells so good. <laughs> ah. So let's just get a little bit of that. My thought process is that, number one, this would be kind of a cool background. You can do this. Y'all saw I did this on, what did I do this on? Oh, I did it on a canvas uh, with the butterfly wing uh, from Chalk Couture, or half of a butterfly. And um, I just think it makes a cool background, and I thought it would look like dirt, too. You know, kind of give you the the. the impression of dirt under the succulents. So, you know, it's, I want all those lines in there. Isn't that cool? I just think that's a cool texture and a cool um, technique to use on canvases and paper and wood. So that if any of this peeks out underneath um, the succulents, it'll just kind of look like dirt. And it smells really good, too. <laughs> I think so, too, Dolly. Hey, Darla, how are you? Are there tornadoes? All oh, golly. Well, it's getting dark as pitch right now. We're supposed to get some heavy rain. I don't. I haven't turned the, t I don't ever turn the TV on, so I don't know if it's about to do something crazy. There's no telling. Oh, wait, wait, you're talking to Jerry. Oh, Jerry, out in Texas, y'all have had some tornadoes? I, I'm terrible about keeping up, mainly flooding. I'm glad it missed your neighborhood. It does, Jermaine, it does. Hey, Vicki, how am I doing up here? Oh, hey, Sparkle Chris, Sparky. Sorry, Sparky, it's a little bit. Hey, Jane. I was wondering where my Jane was. I'm going to take a box of it over to my neighbor that lives in the apartment next to me. I did. I missed what you were going to take. But look at these cool, you know, they kind of look like veins all in, in the tea bags. I'm obsessed now. I... I have a coffee filter, used coffee filter, that is drying on the kitchen counter right now. Mr. Cheese could be like, really? Really, Lindy? Oh, uh, hey, Lori. Is it snowing in Arkansas, Sheila? Don't tell me that, because we usually get your weather <laughs> right after you. It's cold and rainy there, Darla. Oh, hey, Katana, how are you? And there's Sheila. Oh, yeah, I just said, I was just talking to Sheila about Arkansas. Betty, is it snowing where you are? Mm. Okay, that's, that's looking good. Okay. Next up, let's... 
me, let's do this. Let me do this. Let's let's get our succulents. I, I gotta get a move on if I'm gonna show you all these different ways. So we've got our one set here ready to go. And I pulled out um, Christmas cookie, sour apple. These are all magical chalk paints from Paint Pixie and Mojito. We've also got Dreamsicle. Okay, so I looked up, I just was looking at pictures of succulents. And I will also tell you this, no lie. And you know, you watch my regular lives, most of you, if you, you know, if you're regulars. Um, you know that these are now my go-to paint brushes. It's the Magic Brush Set. It's from Paint Pixie, but they're made by the Turquoise Iris. Um, this is a filbert. It's called Favorite. You're going to get five brushes in this set and this little container. These are my go-tos now, and y'all know I'm pretty picky about brushes. Um, and y'all know how, wait, it's already out. You know how I love to hand letter, and I'm really particular about my hand lettering brushes because, it, you know, and I believe that we all are when we really get into lettering. It's the one that works best for you. But I decided uh, the other day when I was lettering that she made broken look beautiful and, you know, that thing. Um, I decided to try the Tipsy liner brush. It's actually not a liner brush, but it's close. Um, I lettered the whole thing with this brush and love it. So, my endorsement for this brush set, absolutely. All right, what I was thinking when I looked at, um, when I looked at succulents, the pictures, they start with a deep green, or this this type of succulent did. So I got out this Christmas cookie for the first layer on here. And you want to cover up, you know, all the white so it doesn't show on your finished piece. Because these are so realistic looking, you want to really fool people with your with your little succulents. Make them think they're real. See how it's looking? You're going, Lindy, that is too bright for or dark for a succulent. But I'm, let me show you what I, I've been playing. I've been playing all day. We're just going to give this a really good coat of uh, this Christmas cookie. Let me get some out on this plate that I was using earlier anyway. Ah! Come here. Come here. Come here. I have stuff all over this table. Y'all know know how that goes. Here's my paper plate. Let me just put some out here. Make this go a little faster. Is Patty here? Hey, Connie. Oh, and Lindy can... You say hi to my... Ah, oh, yes! Hey, Bryn! Are you still over there today? I'm so happy. Um, I get to hear all about you, and you sound wonderful. Your grandmother sings your praises all the time. That's Melissa's granddaughter, Bryn. Bryn, you need to make this kit. I know you can make it beautiful. Hey, Gail from Southern Colorado. Would you please say hello to our oldest son? <laughs> He's out there. Do y'all know this, what, what day? The 19th. When was the 19th? It was last week. Our oldest son turned 34. Ouch. Ouch. How did he catch up with me? <laughs> I just can't believe I have a 34-year-old. How that happened? Hey, Pat. There's Lisa. Hello, Lisa. We've been talking about you. Did your do your ears burn? Did your ears burn? Um, I'm doing your wonderful kit. I love this kit that you created with Paint Pixie, and 
I know you have shown it already, but I wanted to show uh, maybe some other ideas for it because I think it's so versatile. That's the word I couldn't think of at the very beginning, versatile. All right, so we've got this totally dark green on there. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Um, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna do this one the same way. I haven't painted one of these yet. But let's try it with the same technique, but I'll just, uh, I'm going to do the finishing touches on it just a little different. Lisa, I was telling him it happened to me again this morning when I was watching you live. Our internet, the, apparently Xfinity is working in our area. It's gone up and down all day long. Am I still here, by the way? <laughs> yeah. Um, and so I got to the part of your live today where you, I love that technique with the pixie dough. Y'all got to go watch it. And you had stamped, you cut the heart. And I'll, it's brilliant, by the way, to use that cardboard to make it look torn. That was awesome. I'm going to be using that technique. Um, and then you put the dark wash on it and off I was. No more. No more, Lisa. It said no more. So I've got to go see how it turned out. I wanted to see the pink on it and everything. But it's gorgeous. All right. So we... Did something happen? I had... You did, you, Vicky. Well, I... You know, they will usually send me a text when they're going to be working. And they did, you know, like a week ago, they did this. Well, then I got a text um, yesterday morning, early, saying, um, I forgot to put my paint mix. I'm painting, and I should have this on. Um, it said, we've delayed, you know, we've delayed working in your area. Just wanted to let you know, blah, blah, blah. And, um... So I thought, well, okay, good. I didn't know you were going to work today on our area, but good, because I'm going live with Paint Pixie. And then it went all haywire again. Let me see. Hey, Judy, that's okay. Oh, yeah, Mr. T's at the grocery store now. Hey, Lori Lulu. Ugh, it could be mine. It could be, I, I, I seem to be going okay here, but I don't know. I think I'll go on and, uh, I need some more paint. Go on and do this leaf. Why not? I will. Oh, thank you, Joyce. Thank you. We've got, we still got some in the storage building, but, um, there are still some styles that I would love to have. I have a project in mind for one now, and, uh, it's in my head. I've got to do it soon. I don't know that I'll be able to do it on a live because it's so big, but I'll definitely record it if I do it. I appreciate y'all, by the way, watching my daily altered uh, card videos. That makes me so happy that y'all like those. I sure am having fun with it. Okay, now I'm gonna let those settle for a minute and work on this one. I don't have in my Paint Pixie collection yet um, purples, which I could probably try to um, take a blue, a blue and a red and make one. But I just, I've got so many acrylic paints over there. I just pulled a, an old acrylic paint and I can't believe how little I use those now. And, and this is just the truth. I'm, I'm just telling you. Um, I've kind of become a paint pixie snob and I don't want to use those paints anymore. Uh, so I just pulled out this uh, dioxazine purple because I saw some purple succulents. And this, listen to that. It's so drippy. It's hyacinth by Anita's. I've had it forever, but it's the color I was going for. So watch. No, you won't see paint pixie doing that. Sorry, Anita's, but it's true. So let's go with the dark color first on this one. I want to get all of it. I don't want any white to show. 
The great thing about pixie dough too is that you can paint it immediately. As soon as you take it out of the mold, you can paint it. And if you're impatient like me, that's a good thing. All right, we've got that darker purple on. Can you just add some white to the pixie paint? Yeah, you sure could, um, but I don't have a purple. I'm, you know, I, I know they have one and I am slowly but surely making sure I get every single color because <laughs> I love it. Now I'm going in with this hyacinth. So like Dolly, if I had a, um, if I did have a purple, yes, that's what I would do. Just add a white to it um, or a lighter color to it, lighter, you know, white, light gray or something to bring me, you know, bring it up a notch. Hey, Melinda. <sighs> I would not call her Brian. <laughs> That's so funny. Now, all I'm doing here is taking the top of this brush and just dabbing it right here in this highest point because I was looking at succulents and studying them. That's kind of how they gradually get darker. Let me, that's kind of harsh. Let me do like that. Okay. And now for these succulents, um, I pulled out the sour apple. I think I've still got a little bit over here. Now, I just started dabbing the sour apple on top of the Christmas cookie. And let me just show you how we're, it's starting to do. I want it to look real as possible. Um, did I do some sound effects? I never know what I'm doing. What did I do, Lori? <laughs> Y'all don't ever know what's going to happen around here. Uh, did I do, do, do? Did I do? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, so I'm wanting it. I don't necessarily want to brush it on and blend it. So I want to, um, what's that called? Temp, 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 tap, 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 toot, 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 what do you do? Just so it, you know, you know what I'm saying? And I want that dark green to peek through in the deep down parts of the succulent. It looked to me like that's, you know, kind of how they look. God, went on time. 30 minutes. Okay, we're good. We're good. And I love succulents. And I, I do it every, at the beginning of every summer, I get some little bitty succulents. I pot them in here and they do gray. I've even propagated succulents. But then they die. I have a black thumb. So uh, these are going to work. Stipple, thank you, Gina. <laughs> thank you. Everybody has said, Cindy said stipple too, y'all. Why is that? Do y'all go live? And do you have live brain where words? They just. Now I'm going in with the mojito on the tip of my brush and doing the same thing. I love this color. And this just does this, you know, it's the same effect. You're just doing light to dark. Don't want to blend it too, too much. Closer, what we have so far. Are we looking, uh, looking good? So I thought, <laughs> Jody. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got a black thumb, Gwen. They are really. I I have a you know I got a mother-in-law tongue. It's in the den because they are so simple and it's doing well. It's just inside for the uh, winter. It goes out on the porch but um 
so far I've kept it alive. I, I can usually keep succulents alive, but um, these are going to be much easier for me to care for. So I wanted to think up a lot of ways I could do these. Let me just go ahead and uh, let's see how this one does. And this one I'm just going to almost like dry brushing over the tops of this. Because again, I'm just wanting it to look very 3D. I want that dark green to still be in the crevices. It gives you way more of a 3D look. Look how pretty that is. Ooh, I love it. And then maybe just a little bit of this mojito on the top. I think succulents just have the prettiest colors in them. Oh, I like that. Okay. They're so easy to propagate too, but they grow so slowly. Um, and I want to add a little bit of this sour apple to the leaf as well. How am I doing up here? Hey, Maria. I'm sorry, getting y'all's face. Oh, is it Maria? Maria. Maria, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I'm um, presenting on the Paint Pixie page that you're on. All right, now the final touch was that I took my tipsy brush with the um, dream sickle and just very carefully go around the edges. Have y'all seen the succulents that have those slight pink edges that are so beautiful? And just go around the edge of each leaf like that. And I have some over here that are dry. That's how I painted this one and this one so that we could play with them. Um, let me do a little assembly now so we can for sure get through most of it. I want to hit this. I don't want to hit it with the heat too much. I don't know. I don't know if the pixie dough will melt or not with too much heat. Hey, Marilyn. Thank you, Dolly. You're a wannabe painter. Well, you can do this, Gail. You can do this. I just pulled up pictures of succulents online when it would let me <laughs> and kind of tried to just mimic those colors and now every one of them will look different that's okay because every succulent does look different oh, it's so pretty where do I want to put the leaf I have a dry leaf somewhere where is it don't know I guess I don't. But you know, if you didn't want to be realistic with it, you don't have to be. You can paint them whatever color you want. Isn't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. You could hand letter on it. You could take um, some of those small talk stickers and put a little phrase. Where am I? We may do that. But anyway. Again, you will get a printable background from Lisa with this kit that you can use that are adorable. I'm just wanting to show you other things you can do with this same kit if you want to. So I think I want to go on and um, put these, put the, do I? Um, no, let's wait a minute. This is, this is idea number one. We've got our tea bag coffee stained. 
I think it does a good job of looking like dirt underneath it. Forgive the red nose. Rain's coming. This is me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Doesn't it look good on there, Dolly? It looks better than I even thought it would. And so it comes with a jute hanger or, you know, y'all are creatives. You've probably got jute. If you wanted to um, use a little wire hanger and, you know, twirl it, do the little coil and hang it like that as a gift, however you want to do it. There are so many ways you can use these. Oh, thanks, Lori. Yeah, I, well, I'm a huge succulent person and I have been wanting this mold. And so when Lisa used it in her design, I thought, I have got to get that. All right, let's 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 do this one. If you watched me do the Mixed Media Mystery Box Challenge this past time, Lisa Boone sent me, I didn't know what it was. She had these with some cute little words in here, stuck together. And then she told me this is drywall tape. So y'all gotta go to Home Depot or Lowe's. We're gonna put this drywall, mine's not sticky anymore because I've used it so much. Did I do it on the wrong side? Maybe I did. That's got a little sticky left. Okay, I'm gonna try to line this up. It's not hard to do. My thought process on this is like, have you seen those hanging succulents? They'll have um, a mesh wire background that the succulents adhere to attach to you know they'll have some dirt in there and that's what i was thinking about on this one that's why i thought well that would look like that little wire mesh background um you could use dollar tree uh spackle if you want to it's going to take longer to dry i would add a little tiny bit of water to that it's very heavy that one's very heavy but i'm going to use the deco art dimensional effects um, texture paste. I love this. And all I do is take my palette knife, and dip down into it, and we're just going to run it over the top of this. This stuff works great with stencils too, and it'll give you a raised effect. I love it. When he came home with this drywall tape for me, um, he got me a roll of it. I'm going to show it to you. He told me, he said, they also have drywall tape that has circles in it. And I said, oh, I'm going to need a roll of that too. Go look at the hardware store <laughs> for stencils and stuff. This is so cool to me. Y'all hear that happy, happy bird out there? All right, and then we just peel this up. Can you see that cool texture? Isn't that fun? Yes, it's like embossing, Teresa, it sure is. Well, he knows we're gonna feed him, they know that we take good care of him here, so he's just happy. He just not even worried about it. We give him mealworms and seeds and all that good stuff. So, I did one earlier to prep so it would be dry. And something fell on it. And Jane, I thought of you because I still had a little ink on the, on the tape. So, I got a cool bit of ink on there. Pretty cool. Isn't that fun? I think this is a really cool. It's It dries quicker than spackle, too. So that's a good thing. Let me do a quick cleanup. Carries lots of stuff like that at a lower cost. Oh, that's good to know, Susan. Our, our Habitat Restore is like 45 minutes away. And the one time we went over there, it was supposed to be open and I'll be doggone if it wasn't closed. So, 
Hadn't been back, but I do want to get over there and just see what all goodies they have. Okay, I just didn't want to get that pet paste on the back of this one. Um, I think this is dry enough to paint on. Why don't we do the coffee grunge over it? Now, you could paint it any color you wanted to. Um, I could do it with the um, liquid pixie dust in, uh, what did I use on the back? What's it called that's right down there? I need to get it. I need to just reach over and get it. Uh-oh. I dripped. Now I want to use a softer brush on this just in case. I don't want to mess up that good texture. Let's do this one. It's a cheapy cheapy. Oh, did you? Oh, Robin, good. Oh, yeah, she's talking about the little tags we have in our shop now. They're still, everybody's starting to get their tags. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> oh, I love playing. Wait till y'all see this. Let me... Let me get this on here and show you what this looks like. I'm sure if y'all get this kit, you'll come up with a thousand ways to use it too. But I, I've, I've got at least five out on this table to show you. We won't get to finish them all today, but I'll get to tell you about them. And I want to finish them out. And when I do, I'll post pictures. Again, you know, I'm thinking about uh, mimicking dirt behind succulents, obviously. And uh, what would a succulent background look like? A true one, you know. All right, look how awesome that looks, y'all. Now, that's pretty cool. Come on. I love it. Gina, I added texture by using uh, drywall tape. Here is, I haven't even opened mine yet. I keep using these two little pieces, because why not? Uh, he said it was about $8.99, I believe, um, at, I don't know, it was Home Depot or Lowe's. I think he was at Lowe's that day, but I had never heard of it. I don't, you know, do the boy stuff. I let him handle that, and Lisa Boone sent that to me, and the that's another thing, y'all. It's I know it's too late to get in on the first mixed media mystery box. Don't miss next month. You're going to get cool stuff like we get in our mystery box challenges. And you never know what kind of, I mean, I, I didn't know. I did not know. So you're going to get all kinds of cool little pieces like that to create with. And don't discount them because it's, um drywall tape or whatever it, it's it's a supply it's an art supply as far as I'm concerned and it's awesome okay so we've got this one we could you know put those same succulents on this one too that's just a different background technique now what if you go to Goodwill and you get a little frame like this I've had it sitting here in my stash forever there's not a time that I go to my Goodwill and I can't find these little dollar frames. Um, print wick papers. So I would probably disassemble this. I don't know if I would or not. Do y'all ever get packaging with this stuff in it? It's really cool. Look at that. Don't ever throw that away. I mean, awesome stencil too. Am I right? Jane, what do you think? Could you use this as a stencil? Thank you so much. Thanks, Jill. Thank you, Lisa. Yes, you need it. Yes. Yeah, next month is going to be awesome. So, I thought, oh, wouldn't that be cool to just put right down in here? Now, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking I might not even paint this frame. I don't know. They are. Use dryer sheets. Use, yeah, use wipes. I can't, I will use my inks or paints and wipe up with a paper towel off the stencil. And it'll make a cool 
I'm going to show you. You're going to laugh at me. You could put Spanish moss right down here. I love that uh, Lisa Mod says that that's the, uh, what do you call it? The glitter of the, it's not the glitter of the crafting community. But anyway, Lisa uses Spanish moss a lot. And I love Spanish moss um, from Mobile. And it drips on the trees there. You know, I just wish it dripped on the trees here. I love it. You are rich, Melissa. Look around, and you'll be surprised at all the richness around you if you get creative, right? I'm about to tackle, I think, tackle making my own paper. I've never done that before, and I would like to to try that. So, y'all may be seeing me do that soon. I don't know. But I thought, why couldn't you, you know, just scrunch this up as a background? Heck, I would probably uh, coffee grunge this too to make it darker. But honestly, I love the idea of the Spanish moss the most. You could take a piece of burlap and just stick it in here. You don't even have to take this out. Um, but I think I want to try it with Spanish moss. Let me let me give it a try. Mod Podge that over the whole frame. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes, moss daily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's some cool packaging. I ordered um, candles for my boys for Christmas. And they are not normal. Well, Chris does keep a candle in his, he calls it his dojo, his studio at work. But, you know, it's a masculine scent. I found out my oldest son loves to have candles too. Well, I found a place that takes um, craft beer bottles and um, they pour their candles in there. They're soy-based candles and they're all male scents. They're very masculine um, looking. They're, they smelled amazing. And that was actually a winner. My boys are hard to buy for. <laughs> they, don't, they won't ever tell me or us anything they want. They never have. Maybe when they were little bitty. Um, so when I saw that ad for those, and they're not terribly expensive either. And even my oldest son really loved that. Okay, so we've got our little nest. Now look. And then, you know, once it's all affixed, glued down and everything, it can, it can sit straight up. How cute would that be? And I do think I would just leave it, um, leave it gold. I don't mind that. I was trying to think of what color I would like to paint, but that's your choice. Man, my nose is red. That's so silly. Isn't that cute? I just love that must be Mr. T. I just, I, I can't wait to do that. I can't wait to do that. Now, here's another idea. Look at this cute little, um, it's a pewter, I think, cup that my friend Tanya from Hummingbird Paintery, she was at, a, she loves estate sales. And, um, she had brought this to me. You know, it's kind of misshapen. It's everything I love. It's got a great patina to it. But why couldn't you? You could take floral wire. This is just what I had on hand, just some little wire. Now, the paint pixie dough, you could just either bend your wire like that and glue this to the back of one of your pieces and then poke it down in whatever container. I just pulled this because I thought it was cute. And I just, um, I had just cut hymnal pages into ribbons to put in here. You could do um, your Spanish moss if you wanted to, whatever. Isn't it so beautiful? Uh, make another purple blue one. I will, I will do that. I'll paint another one. How are we doing on? Can I do that, Jane? Is, do I, is it okay if I go a little bit over an hour? I don't want to. 
take up too much time. But all I'm saying is, don't forget you could, you know, wire these. And um, so they would kind of sit up. This would, you know, this paper will hold your wire. And then you sit it up and it's really 3D. I think that would be so cute. So that was another idea I had with these. And then the simple one. Just a little um, square canvas. You could cover this with the texture paste. You could cover it with the tea bag. Um, however, however you want to do it, you could cover it with the um, with a with the Spanish moss, for that matter. But same premise as this one. Look how beautifully this these four pieces fit right on this little canvas. Wouldn't it be fun to do um, same premise as the banner pieces but three little canvases that can hang in a row in your home? Um, I just think that would be so pretty. So think outside the box. Oh, it would be so cute, Vicki. You, you could put these little succulents on the outside, I did it um, on a bottle. I did it on a bottle recently, the last time I was on with Paint Pixie. If you take these, when you take these out, it, they're moldable right away. Um, they're pretty flexible even when they dry, but if you mold them and glue them right to your bottle as soon as they come out of the, the mold, then paint the whole thing, it looks like it's ceramic. It's so pretty. <clears throat> okay, y'all wanted me to paint one more of these. But I'm telling you, look, I've gotten so many out of, and I still have pixie dough left from, that's how much pixie dough you're going to get in this kit. So, um, yeah, don't think you're just going to get two or three. Let me see what. Hey, Barbara from South Georgia. How are you? All right, so what I did, do you, do you want me to just paint it the same way? Do you want me to try to um, put some different colors in it? I'm glad y'all like these. I just wanted you to see how versatile this kit is. It really, really is. You could even make you an extra one of these if you had, you know, want to put one of those over there. So cute. I can't, I want to finish this one out. It's really fun. Hi, Diane. Could take pieces off the whole succulent and use them individually too, couldn't you? Yes. Listen, you can, um, Josie has shown it before. Let me see if I can pop one of these out. Yeah. See, it popped right out. I didn't even have to put this one in the uh, freezer. This one's so deep. She has a beautiful rose mold, too, that she showed this on. Just take a little piece of pixie dough. Yes, too. Purple. Okay. Put some cornstarch down in there. And grab a little piece of pixie dough. You don't have to fill up the whole mold. You can do smaller pieces. Use the various purples. Okay, I'll do that. Let's just take this little piece. Dolly, am I going to have to uh, wrap you up in bubble wrap? Because I know I've threatened you before. If it's going to be snowy, don't you go anywhere. You just get in that chair <laughs> and sit still. We don't need any more of our sweet tater bugs in the hospital or hurt or anything. Let me just. Oh, that's going to be enough. Let me smoosh that around a little bit more. So you just put, you know, just fill that middle portion. Let me see if it'll pop right out. That's why I like to put them in the, um, so. Some, it, the, the, see the molds that are not real intricate come right out. But when you've got one of those really intricate molds, I just like the crispness of putting them in the freezer. And, well, that, I think I did okay. Look, I'll just take that leaf off right there. 
And look, you've got a smaller piece that'll go right. You can bring it off the edge if you want to. Look how cute. Make as many as you want to out of this one um, bag of pixie dough. See, I still got, I, I just, it keeps going. And that's how much you're gonna get in this kit. All right, real quick, let's do the purples. And then we're gonna get out of y'all's hair. You see why I had so much, have so much stuff on my table because I was <laughs> so excited about it. I had lots of ideas. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you so much. Okay, we're just gonna start with this uh, dioxazine purple. That's my darkest. And we're gonna, um, did I do that with another one? We're gonna try the mojito. Oh, Ooh, Lindy. There it is. Um, the mojito with the purple, because I think that's going to be really pretty. And then I'm going to let y'all go. Bless him, Dolly. <laughs> How are we doing up here? Could put dough ball in bottom of the cup with wired succulent and paper. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely, Lisa. You're talking about like you would um, the foam. This has a very, it's so lightweight, a styrofoam feel to it, especially when it's dry, obviously. Um, that's why, you know, it's great to put on a bottle or something because it doesn't add any weight to it. It's so light. That's about the end of that. So if you get coming on late, uh, we had a we're having a schedule change tomorrow. Mr. T will be live at five thirty Central on Taterbuggin instead of Thursday, and I'll make a post about it to let y'all know. Um, He's leaving early. He's leaving me early this week. But this is the last weekend. So. All right. There's. There's that. I'm going to get all the white spots. All right. Don't they, Tammy? I think so, too. Just pull up a picture of succulents, like I did. Google it. And uh, just paint them to look just like a succulent. I'm going to go in with this mojito and see how it plays with this purple. Ooh, I like that. I think I hear it starting to rain. This mojito is a gorgeous color. Now who's gonna go get this kit? I just wanna know. I'm trying to put the little brush strokes on it to look like texture. Y'all play with your brushes to see what they do. I always do. See what kind of marks I can make with them. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? I love that. 
Really, Jody? You need it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fun. This is so fun. Y'all, thank you. Thank you to Paint Pixie for letting me uh, be on their page today and show you this. Lisa, thank you for an awesome kit. Josie, thank you for all the cool um, supplies that you've made available to us. Um, and I hope, I hope I just got your creativity going today. That's my job. And um, I can't wait to see what all you make with this kit. If you haven't already joined my free group, Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs, we would love to have you over there. It's the sweetest community of people, and you can share whatever your heart desires there. We'd love to see what you create. Really, Janice, I love succulents too. Thank you, Penny. Thanks, Pat. Um, and so um, we'll be back on tomorrow evening, Mr. T. Will. I'll just be reading your comments uh, at 5.30 Central. And thanks, Jane and Josie, for letting me do this. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.